نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری واحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی وجعل لی وزیر من اہلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم انی اسألکا علما نافعا رزقا طویبا و عملا متقبلا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہو ٹرانسلیشن سورة البقرہ آیت ٹو ہنڈرڈ اینڈ ایٹین اِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اِنَّا indeed for sure no doubt الَّذِينَ those who آمَنُوا they have believed وَا and الَّذِينَ those who حَجَرُوا ha jim ra to leave to abandon hajaru is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural they have emigrated they have left their homeland they have abandoned their homes wajahadu <coughs> and they strove jim ha dal to struggle to strive to make effort this is again a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural fi in sabilillah the path of allah the way of allah ulaika those are the one who yarjuna ra jim wow to await something to expect something yarjuna is an imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural they await they expect rahmatullah the mercy of allah Wallahu and Allah is Ghafoorun, the most forgiving, Rahimun, ever merciful. Verse 219, Yas Alunaka, Seen Hamza Lam, Ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb, Waw Noon at the end makes it for the third person masculine, Plural, yes, aluna, they ask, kaf subarta, you, an, about, or regarding, al khamri, khamr means, or it refers to all intoxicants, not specifically, just wine, it is, it is, it means all forms of intoxicants, wal maisiri, Ya seen ra. Yusr means something which is easy. Maisar means the money or the gain which is easily acquired, which is easily obtained. And what it actually means is gambling or all forms of games in which there is games of chance or all games which have any form of betting because the earns or the gains from all forms of gambling and betting or games of chance is the easy money. The person doesn't have to make any hard work or to make any struggle or strive and the money just comes easily. al Khamri. All intoxicants, wal maisiri, and all forms of gambling, the games of chance or the games of betting. This can be board games, dice games, card games, uh, races for the dogs, for the horses, 
may it be betting on any form of um, uh, ground games like um, like cricket hockey whatever it is any form of betting qul you say fi hima fi in hima is for the dual form in the two of them and hima is pointing towards what khamr and maisir in the two of them is what ismun kabirun ism means a sin kabirun is an adjective for the sin and this is great the root word is kaf ba ra wa and manafi'u noon fa ain means benefit the gain the advantage manafiu is uh, it is a plural noun and it is in the feminine form wa manafiu and gains and advantages and benefits linnasi for the people for the mankind wa ismuhuma and the sin of the two of them again the two of them is it is referring to what the pronoun for the dual form is referring to khamr and maisir and the sin in the two of them is what akbaru is greater min nafihima min than the advantage of the benefit of the two of them wa yas alunaka and they ask you they ask you about what mada what yunfiquna nun fa qaf nafaka means to spend ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb and wa nun at the end signifies it's being plural yunfiquna imperfect verb for the third person masculine plural they spent mada yunfikun what should they spent qul you say al afra the surplus the superfluous the extra which is beyond the needs this is a masculine noun kadalika similar to this like this yubayyinu Allah yubayyin ba ya noon to make something clear yubayyinu is uh, an imperfect verb for the third person masculine singular yubayyinu Allah Allah he makes clear lakum for you all ayati ayat means the verses of the quran or the verses of allah or the miracles of allah or the signs of allah <coughs> ayati is the plural form ayat is singular and ayat is the plural form the verses la'allakum so that you all tatafakkarun you all concentrate fa kaf ra to think to ponder to concentrate this is uh, an imperative um, an imperfect verb for the second person masculine plural you all reflect you all concentrate you think or you ponder and what do you ponder in fid dunya wal akhira fi in now we are starting the verse number 220 fi in ad dunya the world that is here wal akhira and hereafter wa yas alunaka and they ask you revise what is the root word seen hamza lam yes aluna ka they ask you anil yatama about or regarding the orphans ul you say or you tell islahun setting right or correction or reformation lahum for them and whom is 
an adjective here which is pointing towards yatama <coughs> reformation for them hairon is better wa and in if to holy to whom ho lam twa to mix up to jumble up to associate or to have connection with to holy to you all mix with them you all associate with them now to holy to here is um, an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine plural form that you all mix with them and whom here them means the the orphans fa ikhwanukum fa zabar fa das or then ikhwan akhi means the brother and ikhwan is the plural form das they are your brothers wallahu and allah ya'lamu ain la mim means to know to have knowledge ya'lamu it is an imperfect verb and it is for the third person masculine singular wallahu ya'lamu and allah he knows al mufsida fa sin dal corruption or malice al mufsidu means the one who causes corruption the corrupter or the one who makes malice wallahu ya'lam al mufsid mufsida and allah he knows the one who causes corruption min al muslih from al muslih swad lam ha means to reform to amend or to correct muslih is the person who reforms is the amender is the reformer or the one or the person who makes the right or makes the correction walau and if sha allah willed allah wanted or desired allah la arna takum ain nun ta means to uh, to put into distress la arna takum this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural uh, masculine singular la arna takum he would have caused distress to you he would have caused difficulty hardship or distress to you all in allah indeed or for sure allah azizun ain zaza is ever almighty hakimun is ever wise verse number 221 wala tankihu this is a negative form of uh, the verb and uh, <clears throat> it is an imperfect verb wa and la do not tan ki hu noon kaf ha to take into nikah or to marry so this is an order wala tan ki hu and do not you all take into marriage and do not you make nikah this is ordering the second person masculine plural not to make marriage or not to make nikah with whom al mushrikatin this is a feminine plural noun mushrika is from shirk sheen ra kaf means to associate partners with allah to make to be a polytheist shirk means polytheism mushrika is the woman who does shirk or who associates partners with allah or who is a polytheist mushrikat is the plural of mushrika 
அல் முஷ்ரிகாத்தின் த விமன் ஹூ டூ ஷெர்க் த விமன் ஹூ அசோசியேட் பார்ட்னர்ஸ் வித் அல்லாஹ் ஆர் த விமன் ஹூ ஆர் பாலிதியஸ்ட்ஸ் ஹத்தா அன்டில் யோ மின்னா they believe the women who make shirk they believe so do not marry or do not take into marriage the polytheist women until they believe why wala amatum mu'minatun wa and la amatun and surely the women slave the female slave or the bonds woman and what type of bonds woman mu'minatun this is a noun and mu'minatun is what the adjective for the noun the one who believes the woman who believes mu'minun is the man who believes or the man who is a believer and mu'minatun is the woman who is a believer or the woman who believes wala amatum mu'minatun and surely the the woman slave or the bonds woman who is a believer khairun is better men from mushrikatin from a woman who makes shirk the woman who associates partners with allah or the woman who is a polytheist walau and even ajabatkum she impresses you ain jim ba to impress to attract or to be uh, uh, something which a person approves or likes and she impresses you all wala tun ki hu so the muslim men are ordered not to marry the mushrikat until they start believing and allah is giving the reason that as an alternative a muslim bondsman or a believing bondswoman is much better than a a polytheist woman even if she impresses or attracts the muslim men now another order wala tunkihu wala tankihu means you all do not take in marriage now there is zabar on ta now here there is pesh on ta so it is not active it is a passive form of the order tankihu means that you make nikah tunkihu that you conduct somebody else's nikah so wala tunkihu the muslim men are being ordered that they will not make or arrange the nikah or the marriage of their women folk also wala tunkihu and you all do not give in marriage whom al mushrikina the men who make shirk the men who associate partners mushrikin is the plural of mushrik and the root word is again shin raqaf polytheism mushrik is the singular form means the person or the man who makes shirk or polytheism and mushrikin is the plural for that and till when you will not hand over or marry your women to the mushrikeen hatta until you minu they believe so a muslim women muslim women will not be married through the guidance or supervision of their muslim men to mushrikeen until and unless they believe and the second thing which we gather from the translation is that the muslim men they can marry of their own desire and on their own planning but a muslim woman needs a 
needs a person, a Muslim man, to arrange her marriage or to arrange her nikah. And that in Arabic we know is the wali. The wali is the nearest and the closest a male relative of the Muslim woman who whose permission and whose uh, consent is required for the Muslim woman before she makes nikah or before she gets married. Hatta until yu'minu they believe. Wala abudun and surely uh, a bondsman, surely a male slave, Mu'minun, the one who believes. Abdun is what? It is a noun. And Mu'minun is the adjective. What type of a bondsman is he? He is a Mu'min. Khairun is better, me mushrikin, than the one who makes shirk, than the one who associates partners with Allah. Walau a'jabakum. Wa and lo even ajabakum he impresses you all. So walo ajabakum mean even if he impresses you all. Ula ika those are yadruna dal ain wow means to call to invite. Yeah, at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb. Wow, noon at the end indicates it's being for the plural form. Third person masculine plural, yadaruna. They call, they invite, ilanari, towards the fire. So it's not any fire. If it had been narun or naran, it would have been any fire it's not a common noun alif nan and alif lam at the start makes it a special or a proper noun anar the fire which fire the fire of hell wallahu and allah yadru he calls he invites Allah towards al jannati the paradise, this is a feminine noun, wal maghfirati, and forgiveness, this again is a feminine noun, bi idnihi, with or by, isn means order or permission, with his order, with his permission. Where do we get his is? Hazir he, this is a pronoun pointing towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he explains, he makes clear ayatihi, his verses, his, uh, his signs, linasi for the mankind, for the people. And why does he do this? La'allahum yatadhakkaroon, so that hum they. Now, home here is a pronoun pointing towards anas, the people of the mankind. La Allah, so that whom they yatazakarun, dal kaf ra, to remember, to mention, to take heed, or to avail from the advice. Yatadhakkarun, ya at the start shows that it is an imperfect verb for the third person. And vaunun at the end shows that it is a plural form. Yatadhakkarun, they all try to remember. They all make effort to mention or they all take heed. So now... I will be repeating the verses uh, from the start, expecting that all of you surely, now I'm going very slow, you know, so I would really want that all of you should be um, completing your all the words and all the translations. And in case you have any issue, you can uh, always get back to me through the admin of the group or um, and I will also request you to follow us on the page because there you you get the video the video with the actual literal uh, the words we are going through and that becomes audio visual and that obviously makes the translation comprehension more easy verse 218 in Ladina Amanu 
for sure or indeed those who have believed walladhina hajaru and those who have emigrated wajahadu and they strove they made struggle they made jihad fi sabilillah in the path of allah ulaika those are the ones who yarjuna they are awaiting they expect they look forward to rahmatullah the mercy of allah wallahu ghafurur rahim and allah is most forgiving and ever merciful was 219 yes aluna ka they ask you anil khamri wal maisiri about or regarding the intoxicants and the gambling or the games of chance or all games of betting ul you say fi hima in the two of them ismun kabirun is a sin which is great immense colossal wa manafiu lin nasi and advantages gains benefits or profits for the mankind or for the people wa ismuhuma and the sin of these two akbaru is greater min nafihima than their benefits gains profits or advantages wa yath aluna ka and they ask you madha yunfiquna what they should spend qulil af you say that is the surplus the superfluous the extra or beyond the needs kadhalika like this similar to this yubayyinu allahu allah he makes clear lakum for you all ayatin the verses the signs the miracles la allakum tatafakkarun so that you all you all reflect you all think you all concentrate or you all ponder verse number 220 fid dunya wal akhira in the world and the hereafter wa yas alunaka and they ask you anil yatama about the orphans qul you say islahul lahum reformation or setting right or correction lahum for them khairun is better wa and in if to holy to hum you all mix with them you all jumble up you all associate with them fa ikhwanukum thus they are your brothers wallahu ya'lamu and allah he knows al mufsida the one who causes corruption the corrupter or the one who makes malice min al muslih from the reformer from the one who reforms amends or makes correction the reformer or the amender wala usha allah and if willed allah and if desired or wanted allah la arnatakum surely he would have caused distress or hardships to all of you in allah indeed allah azizun is ever almighty haqimun ever wise was 221 wala tankihu and do not you all take in marriage and do not you all make nikah with whom al mushrikati the mushrik women the polytheist women the women who do shirk or associate partners with allah hat 
tayyuminna until they believe wala amatum mu'binatun and surely the bonds woman the one who believes the female slave the one who is a believer khairun is better me mushriqatin than a woman who is a polytheist or the woman who makes shirk walau a'jabatkum and even if she impresses you all wala tunkihu and do not you all give in marriage to al mushrikina the men who make shirk or the men who indulge in polytheism hatta yu'minu until they believe wala abdun and surely the male slave or the bondsman mu'minun the one who believes or the one who is a believer khairun is better mim mushrikin than a polytheist or the one who makes shirk walau a'jabakum and even if he impresses you all why should you not have these preferences preferences for making nikah or for taking into marriage ulaika those are yad'una ila an-nar the people who make shirk the mushrikeen or the mushrikat they do what yad'una they call they invite ila an-nari towards the hell fire towards the fire wallahu and allah yad'u he calls ila al-jannati towards the paradise wal maghfirati and the forgiveness this is nihi by his order by his permission wa yubayyinu and he makes clear and he explains ayatihi his verses linnasi for the people for the mankind la allahum so that they yatazak karun they remember they mention or they take heed sadaqallahul azim rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da is khadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antul wahhab subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin amin summa amin